Hey kids, I'm Nick Mashuda. Bethlehem Tennis is number three. And I'm going to teach you how to serve in tennis. Now, the serve is arguably the most important shot in tennis because you start every point with it. Now, for the rules of serving, I'm not going to explain all the rules, but I'm just going to explain the rules in tennis pertaining to serving. So, first off, when you serve, you serve behind the baseline. This is what this line is called. Behind the baseline, across the court, into the diagonal box that is on your opponent's side. And from the other side, you do the same diagonally into your opponent's box. Now, when you're serving, you cannot step over onto the other side of the court or into the court over the baseline. That is a foot fault. Now, if you serve the ball out, that is also called a fault. So, lastly, a let is when the ball bounces off the net and lands in the box, where, uh, and then you get a reserve. And if, but if the ball bounces off the net and then lands out, that's just a fault and nothing happens. So for the technique on how to serve, what you're going to do is first for the grip, you're going to grab the racket as if you were shaking someone's hand. This is called the continental grip. Next, for your foot placement, you're going to want your legs parallel. Uh, with a tiny bit of knee bend. Um, you're going to want your back foot parallel to the baseline and this foot slightly diagonal in that direction. Okay? Now what you're going to do is you're going to put both the ball and your racket together. You don't need, there's no specific way to do this. You just, it's, it's a way to get set, show that you're ready, show even your opponent that you're ready. Then you're going to take it, take it back into this position. This is where you're going to toss the ball. You're going to want to toss it nice and high, very high, minimal amount of spin on the ball. That's going to help you add control to your serve and do what you want with it. Then from there, you're going to take it up and serve it into the box. An important thing to remember when serving is that speed isn't everything, and placement can sometimes do the job better than speed. The fastest serve ever in tennis was 156 miles an hour by Ivo Karlovic. But he's never been in the top 10, and all the top 10 players, although they have very fast serves and very good serves, they use serves such as slice serves and kick serves, and even their flash serves placed well to get an advantage in the point, rather than just trying to blow their opponent off the court. Now, for good places to serve, you're going to want to go into, the, into either of the corner. The shorter corner would be with a slice serve, so it's going to bounce a little shorter. The down the line shot would either be a flat or maybe a kick serve which would bounce up in the air or at your opponent's body who is texting on his phone. Um, so yeah that will catch your opponent off guard and hopefully give you an upper hand in the point so you can get an easy, uh, easy victory. Now to get more into the different types of serve in serves in tennis and their uses I'm gonna break that down for you. So for the slice serve, what basically what you're doing is when you toss the ball up, you're going to hit the ball on the side of it and almost cut it and put some spin on it that'll make it go sideways. And you can use this serve as like a change up to catch your opponent off guard, drop it short, it'll bounce sideways and they'll really have to struggle to try and get it. So next for the kick serve, what you're doing with this is you're putting top spin on it, which is something that you do when you brush the ball with like your normal ground strokes. But for a serve, what the use for this is, is it makes the ball kick really high up. And this is used a lot in people's second serves and also to bounce the ball up on, like, at your opponent's backhand to catch them off guard or to, if you're serving volleying, to give, to feed yourself almost an easy ball. So what you're doing with that is as the ball's up in the air, you come up at it and then you brush straight vertically and then come out and the ball leaves. And the last, the flat serve, there's gonna, not going to be any spin on that. And at, you're going to come back with your continental grip, which we went over. And as you're coming at the ball, you're going to fully pronate your wrist, which means turning it to this direction so it's flat. And you're going to hit it at your full extension and snap your wrist down into the court and land it into the box with a good amount of pace, hopefully. So I'm going to show you a quick drill on how to work on your serve a little bit, how to improve it. It's basically what you're doing is you're t showing yourself how to get your full extension 
up to the top because that's how you're going to optimize the amount of power that you get out of your serve and like the it'll increase your consistency as well because it will increase the height at which you're hitting the ball over the net. So to show that to work on this, what you're going to do is you're going to get to any fence. Um, it helps if the fence has a netting because on those fences it bounces off a little more. So if the fence, you walk up to this fence, you're going to toss the ball up nice and high and then stick it at your top, um, at the highest point in your swing. And this will kind of show yourself like how high you need to get and actually how much height you can get on the ball if you fully extend. So now I'm going to show you the three different types of serves that I demoed before and I'm going to show you what they look like in with their spin in all different ways. Um, so for the flat serve, you're going to want to stand about a racket length away from the hash mark and you're going to want to set up in the stance that I showed you and make sure you get the high ball toss with no spin. Make sure you pronate your wrist and hit it. Get as little, little to no spin on it as possible and put it in one of the three spots that I showed you. And it'll look something like that. So the next serve I'm going to show you is the slice serve. And how you do the slice serve, you're going to set up again a racket length away from the hash mark. You're going to set up in your stance the same way. Same sort of thing, same kind of toss everything. Except on this, a little bit for the toss, you're going to want to throw it a little bit more out to the right side. So that'll help you extend more and get around it more, which seems a little opposite. You'd want to, you'd think you'd want to throw it in more, but the more you throw it out, you have to, you, your body's going to try and extend around it and reach, and it'll give you the more spin that you need. So yeah, this will, this is what it looks like. And demoing the last serve is Bethlehem Tennis's number one, Roheen Bowes. And attempting to return it is Bethlehem Tennis's number two, Nick DeLuke. Seriously? And those are the three serves for you. All right, and finally, some things to remember when serving. You're going to want to remember your continental grip and your stance when serving with your back foot parallel to the baseline and your front foot slightly diagonal. You're going to want to toss the ball high with little to no spin. You're going to want to make the point of contact as high as you can get it and aim for one of the three spots that uh, I have discussed in this video. And with these tips, you will be serving like a pro in no time.